Hello and welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we are going to integrate Visual Studio with AWS Code Commit. Before you work on this exercise, if you haven't completed these two videos, I will recommend that you watch these two videos first. The first video will teach you how to set up Gateway Code Commit, and the second video will show you how to set up Visual Studio and connect it to your AWS account. Once you have set up Git Client and Visual Studio, then you can continue with this lecture. To integrate Visual Studio with AWS Code Commit, the first thing I'm going to do is open Visual Studio. And once I open Visual Studio, I'm going to select Continue Without Code. In Visual Studio, you can see my AWS Explorer here. And you can see the profile that I've created for the user in my AWS account that has programmatic access. So we did this in the last lecture. Make sure you watch those two videos and I'll leave the link in the description. To now connect this Visual Studio account with Code Commit, we are going to select the View tab and we are going to select Team Explorer. And once you have selected Team Explorer, it is going to open it here. Under the Manage Connections, you'll see AWS Code Commit. And to connect to Code Commit, we are going to select Connect. And it has now connected to my Code Commit account with the user profile that I created here. So if you look at the username here, it is the same as the profile. The reason why it is not asking me to enter my access key and secret access key is because I already entered it here. Now I can use Visual Studio to create repository in Code Commit and also on my local computer. To create a repository, we are going to select Create. In this option, first we are going to choose the region where we want to create our repository. I'm going to create my repository in the US East, so I'll leave it as that. Then next, you are going to enter the name for your repository. I'll call it Test Repo. Once you enter the name for your repository, we are going to give it a description, but the description is optional. I'm going to enter the description just to show you that we created the repository in our AWS account using Visual Studio. So I'll enter something like this. Once you have entered your description, Next, we are also going to clone this repository on our local computer. And in this option, you can select the location on your local computer where you want to clone this repository. Currently, it is going to clone my local repository to this address on my computer. But if you want to change it, just select these three dots and browse to the location where you want to save it. I'm going to pick my desktop and I'm going to select OK. And you can see that the path has changed. Now I'm cloning it to my desktop. So once you've entered all this information, select OK. And now it is going to ask you for your Git credentials. To enter your Git credentials, select Import from CSV file. And browse to the location where you save your Git credential for your user. Mine is right here. I'll select it and select Open. And you can see it has loaded my credentials in and I'm just going to select OK. Because I'm connecting Visual Studio to Code Commit for the first time and I'm cloning this repository, it is asking me for my Git credential again. So I'm just going to open it. And my credentials is right here. So what I'll do is I'll copy the username. And um, I'm going to paste it in here. And I'll go back and I'll copy the password. And I'm going to come back here and paste it in there. Once you've pasted your username and your password, click OK. And it has successfully created my repository and the clone is successful. So this means that we have created a repository in our code commit account and also on our local computer. So let's go to the AWS Management Console. I'm going to minimize this for now. 
and I'm going to go to management console and I'm going to select code commit. So under services, scroll down under developer tools, select code commit. And there you go in code commit, you can see my test repo and you can also see the description I gave it. I created this repo using visual studio. The next thing I'm going to do is check my local computer, which is my desktop and see if I have this repository there. So I'm going to minimize this. And this is my desktop and you can see the test repository there. So we have created a repository locally on our computer and also in code commit. Now, if we put any file in this local repository, we can use the gate client to push it to our code commit repository. Let's add some file to this local repository. So find any file on your computer. I'm going to use this file on my computer. I'm going to copy all of it. And I'm just going to put them in this test repo. So I'm going to close this. Then let's open Visual Studio. And you can see in the repository we created all those files we just add, you can see them here. So under your git changes, you can see them here. To commit all these files to our repository and push it to code commit, you have all this option here of how you can commit it. You can either select commit all, commit and push, or commit all and sync. We are going to use the commit all and sync. So what this would do is, it is going to commit our files and it is also going to push it to code commit. But before we commit it, we are going to enter a message. So in here, I'm going to enter first commit. Once you've entered your message, I'm going to select the drop down again and select commit all and sync. And I'm going to wait for it to finish doing that tax. And we have successfully commit those files and push it to our code commit repository. So if I open the management console and in code commit, I'm just going to refresh and I select test repo. And you can see we have all those files in there. My vpc.yaml, route53.yaml, autoscaling group. We have pushed all those files that we created on our local repository which are all these files and we have pushed them to our code commit repository. If you also want to edit those files in Visual Studio, you can come to Solution Explorer and you'll see all those files here. If you double click any of it, it is going to open it in here. You can make your changes, save it. Then once you save it, you come back to the git changes and you will use the commit all to push it back to your code commit repository. I'm not going to make any changes to this file, so I'm just going to close it. And this is how you integrate Visual Studio with code commit and creating a file in your local repository and pushing it to your code commit repository. Thank you guys. And I will see you in the next lecture. Bye.